And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Dacentrurus, which was a request from Dinosaur4602. So thanks. It was a stegosaur that lived in the Jurassic and what is now England. Not too much is known about its appearance, but Dacentrurus was robust and it was quadrupedal and herbivorous and it had plates and spikes. There's some estimates that it was as large as 33 feet or 10 meters long and weighed up to 5 tons. Dacentrurus had a wide pelvis, 4.9 feet or 1.5 meters wide, which was a very broad gut for a stegosaur. Yeah, that is a wide animal. It had short hind limbs but long forelimbs and similar proportions as Stegosaurus, except the way the plates and the spikes looked was different. So it probably had two rows of small plates on the neck and two rows of longer spikes on the tail. The holotype of Dacentrurus has a small asymmetrical neck plate. Some people also think it had a shoulder spike, but that's not clear. Originally, Dacentrurus was called Omosaurus. But then it turned out the name Omosaurus was already used for a phytosaur, so it was renamed to Dacentrurus in 1902. Joseph Lady had named the phytosaur Omosaurus perplexus back in 1856, but if you listen to episode 250 about the bone wars, you know that a lot of people didn't pay attention to Joseph Lady. <laughs> yeah, or what names were already occupied just in general. That too. All about cranking out new names. Yes. In 1874, James Shopwin from the Swindon Brick and Tile Company told Richard Owen about fossils in the Swindon Great Quarry. Owen sent William Davies to excavate the specimen, which was in clay, and while trying to lift the clay piece, it crumbled. Eventually, the fossils made their way to London, three tons in total, and they were prepared by Caleb Barlow. Omosaurus armatus was named in 1875, and that's based on a skeleton found in the Kimmeridge clay, and it was described by Owen in 1875. The genus name means upper arm and refers to its robust humerus, and the species name means armed in Latin, and that refers to a large spike that Owen thought was on the upper arm. The holotype included a pelvis, dorsal vertebrae, sacrals and caudal vertebrae, a right femur, left forelimb, partial fibula, partial tibia, right neck plate, and left tail spike. Many other species were named, but are no longer considered valid, and that happens a lot with dinosaurs named in the 1800s. Other species that were named and no longer considered valid included Omosaurus hastiger, named by Owen, and that means spike bearer or lance wielder, and that's because Owen thought that there were spikes on the wrist. That'd be cool. Yeah. I guess that's kind of like a guanodon, except that it's on the hand. Right, the thumb spike. There's also Omosaurus durobrevensis, named by John Hulk in 1887, but was renamed as Lexovisaurus in 1956. Omosaurus philipsi, named by Harry Seeley in 1893, based on a femur. Omosaurus vetustus, named in 1910 by Frederick von Huhn, based on a femur, and the name means ancient one, but now that dinosaur is known as Eplophysis. Omosaurus lenieri, named in 1911 by Franz Nofsche, based on a partial skeleton found in 1899 in Normandy, France, but that specimen was destroyed in 1944 during the Allied bombing of Carn. Hopefully I pronounced that French city right. But like I said, it was renamed to Dacentrurus in 1902, and now only the type species, Dacentrurus armatus, is valid. Used to be Omasaurus armatus? Yes. And the name Dacentrurus means tail full of points. So it switched from <laughs> the arms having spikes to the tails having spikes mm -hmm. in the name? That's kind of fun. Oh, yes. And it was Frederick Augustus Lucas who renamed Omosaurus armatus as Dacentrurus armatus in 1902. In 1915, Edwin Hennig renamed most of the Omosaurus species to Dacentrurus, but many researchers still use the name Omosaurus until the 1950s. Dacentrurus was the first stegosaur discovered. It was discovered before stegosaurus, and it's one of the best known stegosaurs from Europe. It's been found in England, France, Portugal, and Spain. We're lucky that they're not called Dacentrurosaurs instead of stegosaurs, because that's a lot harder to say. True. If it became as famous as stegosaurus, though, it might be easy to say. Be used to it. Maybe, yeah. So many stegosaur discoveries have been referred to Dacentrurus, as well as eggs that were found in Portugal. Peter Galton in the 1980s referred all stegosaur fossils from late Jurassic deposits in Western Europe to Dacentrurus, but in 2008, Susanna Maidman limited Dacentrurus armatus material to the holotype and found most named species to be Nomina dubia. In other words, not valid. Mm -hmm. 
In 2013, Alberto Cobos and Francisco Gasco described fossils found in Spain as Das Entrurus armatus. They found two cervical vertebrae, one dorsal vertebra, and one caudal vertebra from one individual. And this find shows intraspecies variability of Das Entrurus. Unless somebody decides it's a different genus later. Right. <laughs> or a different species. True. But if it is intraspecies variability, this could be because of ontogeny or sexual dimorphism or even individual pathologies. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left. <laughs> 